world back again to English now. Um, we just saw and heard a very lively uh, discussion. The MIP, MEPs um, were had, did have very different opinions um, concerning some topics. Um, when we ended our discussion previously, we were pretty sure that we do not trust all kinds of food anymore. Our trust is damaged. Um, and we weren't sure if our food is safe. Now, what we heard from the Austrian and the German MEPs is um, that our food is indeed safe. They also said that 30% of food is mislabeled and not hygienic. How do you uh, repeat to that? Well, I must, I must say that uh, it's quite uh, ridiculous because uh, the food that is not labeled and is not, um, let's say, certified, and uh, there's, there were no, no uh, scientists which, which, which um, certified this food, uh, that type of food might be very dangerous and may, may put our lives at risk. And uh, it's, it's very important to, to label, label the food uh, as much as possible. That's um, why starting next year, there will be not only more information, but um, as the politicians called it, better information on the labels, uh, labels that actually give us a meaning. It doesn't only list all the ingredients we can't even pronounce because they're just crazy to say, um, but they also are trying to give us some um, idea of what it actually means that these are in there. Uh, Manon, do you think that is um, a good way, a good way to start? Yeah, I think it's um, it's reassuring actually to to have a, a label for for the food, like because we are we live in a globalized world, so we have uh, I don't know we have strawberries from Poland, we have a lot of of food from everywhere, uh, tomatoes from Spain, so we have to know where the 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 food comes from, and we have to know that uh, it is safe for us, it is okay. I think it's really important to to know that and to to prevent as well uh, big diseases, as I said before, like uh, cancer or something like that. It can be linked to food, I'm convinced of that. And I think we have to, yeah, we have to struggle against uh, like la labeling missing, I don't know how to say, but yeah. Misleading labels yeah. um, and also traceability. You mentioned um, traceability, yeah. which is very important. Um, I, Lydia, I know you said before that you're not happy with the labeling right now at all. Yes, because uh, if uh, we don't know the origin of 30% of groceries or in products that we buy, that's unacceptable. And I don't know how uh, uh, should we know more about uh, the other ingredients uh, uh, since we can just uh, label the basic ingredients. Uh, first, I think we have to label all the products so uh, that percentage can be lower. It's really high. It's, it's unacceptable. Uh, unacceptable. Right. I think we all agree. The yes. politicians did not agree on that. What they did agree on was that sanctions against um, companies or um, uh, p people that are involved who do food fraud. So intentionally um, mislead us con uh, customers, consumers. Um, they agreed that those sanctions need to be harmonized. Holger, do you think that's a good way to start? Uh, one of the first, many first ways <laughs> I, I heard today. Um, for sure, it is very important to do that. But um, to, to go back to, this, to the discussion um, of the labeling, for, m for me, it is not very important if it, it's labeled. So it must be the truth who's uh, uh, written down there on this product. So if there are labels and I can see, oh, that's in, that's in, that's in, and, and so it must be the truth. So uh, if it's not the truth, it's only the, the good feeling um, for the consumers so that I can buy that anyway. So um, it must be the right thing. Right. Now, starting with the new system of labeling that starts next year, Manon said she finds it reassuring. And you're talking about trust. We still have to trust. Yeah. Does it make you feel safer, though, when you look at the new labels? I think for, for the it's a psychological effect. So uh, if uh, there's on the product there are different things written down and uh, I can, can, can recognize and I can uh, understand this, maybe uh, I feel safe in a way. Um, but rest of percentage, there is, I I'm not sure about that. And if the politic can, can do that for me, I don't know. I, I think the 100% control and trust is not possible. Um, but maybe the labeling um, will give me better feelings. But 
it's I don't probably know. hard to reach. <laughs> I, I think we all agree on that too. Um, we had a comment on Facebook from Carlo, and um, he asked which fines will be considered. Now we have heard that the MIPs are um, pretty sure in um, harmonizing f sanctions and maybe fees. Um, last questions for all of you: What do you think would be good sanctions? Whoever wants to start, just fire it up. Uh, maybe um, better monitoring or uh, discard, well, potentially discarding those uh, food that uh, is poisoned or <laughs> affected. Or And how would you punish those? How would I punish? I'm not sure, actually. It depends on uh, the level or the danger of the food pollution. Maybe okay. Increasing, increasing the the taxes for our producers, or I don't know, something like that. Something like that, but yeah. not prison or not prison. No. <laughs> okay. No. I uh, firmly believe that the penalties for for fruit for <laughs> for <laughs> food fraud, yeah, uh, should be really severe, and uh, we should also consider making the producers keeping the track of the products yes. which they, they produce from the very early stage and on every, uh, every stage until they reach the yes, uh, and consumer. For, and forbid them access to the markets or... That's a good Food idea that you uh, yeah, and that, that you forbid for 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 a time to produce uh, to, to make the companies to produce things, uh, maybe for one year, two years, or if they are have sold uh, solved yeah. the problem, maybe it's the right way. Yeah. So to discard, uh, discard them too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, to sum up again, um, we have heard some solutions um, that are clear. Some of them are still really wary. Um, for us, is it right when I say to sum up that? Even though the politicians tell us food is safe, we still don't feel that way. Yeah. There still needs, uh, there still is a lot that needs to be done. Um, yeah, we, there are good starting points for we, sure. We feel in a way, but not 100 percent, maybe. Yeah. So maybe that's a good message. We're not 100 percent sure yet. We're not. But we are willing to yeah. uh, open up to all these solutions that are made by the parliament, um, by the commission, um, in order to have safer. Uh, foods here in Europe uh, and in order to prevent crises and fraud. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We all agree. That's yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming Definitely. back and have a great day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.